What's up guys, it's JD Nitro, back to bring you another product review, and this time it's a product suggested by, uh, me, JD Nitro. Now, it's not as seen on TV, and don't worry, I'm still doing as seen on TV products, it's just I recently bought this one, and I thought it was cool, so I thought, why not, let's do a video on it. This is the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Let's go! Let's take a look at the box here. It is simple and to the point. Uh, Aver Media, picture of the device, live gamer portable, smart and simple, your all-purpose sharing weapon, and it comes with a bonus, free three months uh, subscription to XSplit, which is uh, a service for uh, streaming your gameplay live online. Oh, system requirements, CPU, you need a dual core processor, 2.8 gigahertz or better. You need 4 gigs of RAM, uh, USB 2.0, a sound card, uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit. So, you know, doesn't require too much. Let's take a look here. Uh, supported uh, resolutions, you can record... 640 by 480 all the way up to 1920 by 1080. Uh, PC free mode, that's right, PC free recording is an option now. And uh, the resolution for that is 720 by 480 all the way up to 1920 by 1080. Some fine print here. The maximal recording quality is 1280 by 720. So still HD when you're PC free, but not as good as if you're uh, using the computer to record. All right, so that's the packaging. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's uh, take special note. This is the shortest HDMI cable I have ever seen at all. I mean, I have never seen an HDMI cable this short for sale anywhere, let alone included with a device. Right, so you have a cable for uh, carrying your PC audio. You have a set of breakaway uh, component or composite cables. You have uh, USB to micro USB obviously for data and power. You have a dedicated PS3 cable. Now more on this as we go. It also has a little carry sleeve to put it in. I say carry sleeve not carry case because really the only thing you can fit in there is the Live Gamer Portable. You're not going to be able to carry any cables with you. I would say this is just to uh, protect it from getting scratched uh, or anything like that. And of course, the Live Gamer Portable. And it is sexy looking, isn't it? Now, it, 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 it's very light. It's surprisingly light. It's about the weight of a TV remote. And, I mean, it feels durable. It feels good construction. Uh, you have the switch here to go from PC to PC free recording. You have a clickable button on top. And you have the uh, AV in port. You have uh, HDMI in and out. And you have a uh, PC audio in and out. And under this little yellow warning sticker here is the SD card slot. Now they do caution you for class 10 SD cards. That's the thing. You have to have a class 10 because a regular class 4 is not fast enough for uh, HD recording. There's the port on the side to connect uh, USB. So, I mean, it is small. It's, it's really small. Let me give you guys a size comparison. Here's an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, here is a computer hard drive and for the sake of argument I'll do one more here's a Nintendo DSi it's slightly smaller than the DSi 
So definitely pocket size. The pictures online made it look a lot bigger, but uh, no, it is small. So that does it for the unboxing. Time for some gameplay. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download the Rec Central software. And so to do that, open up your favorite web browser and go to gamerzone.avermedia.com. This is the official website for the Live Gamer Portable. Click on download and download the latest version of the application and driver. So that'll be right here. They also have the uh, quick start guide and the full user manual available for download as well. So download it, install it like any other program, open it up, and witness the coolest startup of any program ever. Alright, so once the program opens up, you'll see you have some options to play around with. I prefer to use the pro settings because it gives you the most control, the most customizability. So video formats, you can use TS or MP4 and all the frame rates under the sun uh, the video bit rate, the audio bit rate, the frame rate pretty much all the parameters can be changed now uh, some of you may recognize this uh, software because it's the same software that Avermedia uses for their uh, Live Gamer HD which is an internal card for desktop computers so some of you may already be familiar with it so your capture options your streaming options can be found here and this uh, gives you a really neat feature called time shift so let's take a look at that so what time shift allows you to do is actually go back in time so if you were playing your game and something cool happens and you missed it because you weren't recording all you have to do is drag the time bar back and start recording from here and as you can see I'm playing Super Hexagon why because self torture is a thing and this game makes me want to pull my hair out but aside from that time shift is actually a neat feature uh, it records a temporary file as you're playing it's caching a temporary file so when you go back in time and click record that's where it's getting the video from the only downside is if you exit the viewer window the temporary file is gone this is good and bad because on the one hand you don't have uh, temporary files clogging up your hard drive but on the other hand it's gone let's put parenthesis on that once you do this the temporary file has been deleted so my initial reaction to using the live gamer portable was wow because it's simple to use and it works now when you first take it out the box it smells awesome and I'm not talking the the standard new electronic smell no it has a very distinct interesting smell and it smells awesome I don't know if they 
put some kind of scent in the box or what, but it has a great smell. Here it is in its uh, little carry bag, which is very soft, very plush. It's very fun to hold. As for the LGP itself, very light. Uh, I'm surprised at how light it is, but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels very high quality. It's like a super high quality plastic. It also has a, a nice grip on the bottom so it doesn't slide off the table. Super simple to use. I mean, for PC free recording, all you have to do is slide the little switch over to PC free mode, put your class 10 SD card in, click record, good to go. And yes, it has to be a class 10 SD card. Uh, lower than class 10, it's just too slow, it does not work. When you're recording in PC mode, it's equally as easy as you guys saw in the software walkthrough. It's simple to use. And PC gamers will know what I'm talking about when I say this will not slow your game down. One of the biggest problems with software-based uh, screen capturing for gaming is you can't always run your game at maximal resolution because the software takes up so much of your computer's resources to record and encode the video. Not the case with the LGP because it has a built-in H.264 encoder chip. What that means is the LGP does the work of recording and encoding the video while your computer does the work of playing the game. One of the things that they include in the box is this special PlayStation 3 cable which plugs into the PS3's uh, AV port and then the other end plugs into the LGP. Now the reason why they include this is because you can't record the HDMI port of the PS3. And the reason for this is because the PS3 uses something called High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, also called HDCP. And what it was designed to do is to help prevent piracy. Basically, it's to prevent you from bootlegging Blu-ray movies and such. Truth of the matter is, HDCP does nothing to prevent piracy, and it only serves to be an aggravation, annoyance, slash pain in the neck for you, the consumer. But enough about that, because we're getting into a whole other video. Uh, this cable basically makes it so you can record your PS3. Enough said. It is worth noting that when you're in PC free mode, the record quality is limited to 720p, even though the video going in is 1080i and the video coming out to your TV is 1080i, it only records it in 720p. I'm not even sure how that works or even why that is, but when you're in PC mode, you can record in a max of 1080i which is good, but it is also worth noting that the Trials Evolution uh, gameplay that you saw was recorded from my Xbox 360 with the card in PC free mode. So once you edit it and upload it to YouTube, the 720p video looks just fine. I will admit I have nothing negative to say about this capture card, which is very odd for me because you guys know when I review something, I put it through the ringer and there's always at least one thing that makes it be less than perfect. Not the case here. I mean, there's next to no flaws. When I say next to no, I mean no real relevant flaws. There's only one thing, and it's not a big deal for me. It may be a big deal for some of you, and that is the ring of light. When you're recording, the uh, circle here around the button lights up. It glows red, and it glows brightly. Now, if you're in a dimly lit or completely dark room when you game, it may be a little distracting for you. As for me, I didn't find it to be distracting. So the bottom line for the LGP, it is a fantastic capture card. It is sleek, compact, easy to use, and it works. And it brings to the table something that no other capture card does, and that's PC-free recording. Now, I know most of us are going to connect this to our computers in order to record in full 1080i. However, 
the flexibility of being able to just slide a switch and go PC free is a fantastic feature and it works very well. So this is a definite buy. I honestly give it a 10 out of 10. And that's going to do it for this review. I'm JD Nitro. I really do appreciate when you guys like, comment, and subscribe. The official order for doing things. Thanks for watching. I'm out.